Here's what I'm worried about, Kevin. It doesn't sound like it's going to be substantial snow, but when you're talking temperatures in the 20s, Anything that does get on the road, if it's a little bit slick, obviously that could be a problem. Yeah, and that would be the main concern tomorrow evening for a few hours, because even if something falls on the road, right, because the ground is still so warm, if it's not consistently snowing on top of that road, for example, it's going to melt away just because the ground is still well above freezing, even if air temperatures are below freezing. But if you get a heavy enough rate, it can overcome the ambient ground warmth, and the end result can be at least Temporarily, you'll get a little slush out there, and that would be primarily in the evening on some bridges. That's what we'd be keeping an eye out for. And more specifically, it seems to be a corridor of heavier snow, or at least the potential for greater accumulation in southeast Indiana. So that's something I'd be keeping an eye on for sure. First thing in the morning, I don't have much of an impact out there. You may have some novelty flakes whisking by. Could briefly reduce visibility, but the real impacts won't be felt until tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. All right, look downtown. You can see a pretty nice west wind on the flag that is blowing in chillier air as we speak. Look at that northwest breeze now at 12. So the cool air finally beginning to filter its way into the tri state. I think this is important to take in mind tomorrow and into consideration. We're at 44 right now tomorrow. At lunchtime, it will feel easily 20 degrees colder out there. These are your feels like temperatures. It will feel like it's in the 20s all day. I know, right? It's not the most extreme cold, but it's the coldest it's been around here so far this season. And then we're going to throw in some snow on top of that, too. So radar tonight is quiet. We had some sprinkles few very brief showers drift through earlier this evening. We'll see more of those towards daybreak tomorrow. And in fact, the closest area of snow is up here near Lafayette. At the moment, our temperatures are just too warm to support anything frozen out there. But that northwest wind through the rest of the night will continue to pull in colder air, and that will eventually be a different story by the time the sun comes up. So here's 6 a.m., probably some showers mixed in with some snow. Could even be a quick burst of snow to reduce visibility, but anything that falls will probably melt or will melt away. Throughout the day, not much of an issue. Some more flurries and snow showers around. It's tomorrow evening as the sun begins to set. Here's that second wave of snow that drops in. It's more widespread. It's heavier. It'll be a little more persistent and notice the darker blues lining up in southeast Indiana. We could even get a quick burst across a good part of the metro area. That's the window during the evening tomorrow right here that you'll have the greatest chance for getting a little accumulation on a bridge, for example. Otherwise, again, it's all elevated surfaces where the snow accumulates the grass, the roof of your car, roof of your homes, for example, that type of stuff. A coating to about an inch for most of us. Someone could win big over in southeast Indiana and squeeze out maybe two inches out of the system. So here's your 12 hour forecast. We keep tumbling through the 30s the rest of the night, 40s into the 30s, and you'll see where we wind up by morning. So it's finally feeling like winter out there. 34 tonight with cold breezes in the morning. Tomorrow morning snow showers, a little more impactful, steadier snow in the evening. 39, that will be the high at midnight during the day tomorrow. Our temperatures will hover in the mid 30s and with gusty winds up there 20 to 30 miles per hour at times. That's what will drive those wind chills way down into the 20s. So we're into the 40s on Friday, kind of a dreary day, but not too bad, though. It's pretty gloomy. The weekend looks very nice. Soak up the sun this weekend and look at the recovery. We're back into the 50s, almost to 60 on Monday. But then Mike and Sheree, just an early heads up. There's a lot of time to watch things for folks traveling over the Thanksgiving holiday, starting from Thursday, going through the weekend could be a little tricky across not just the Ohio Valley, but a lot of the country as the pattern looks pretty stormy to end the month of November.